everybody, it's Chugga Conroy. Welcome back to more Poochie in Yoshi's Woolly World. Last time, we took down Not Wing the Koopa by removing his wings, so now he's Not Wing the Koopa. And you know what that means, yet another Poochie stage has opened up. Usually yet is reserved for when there is at least two of something that have happened before and it's happening for at least the third time, but whatever, you know what I mean. I just had to make it sound more exciting, because if I say it without that, it's like another Poochie stage, whatever. Okay. <laughs> Getting very carried away now, this time in the 3DS version of said game, I have a few amendments that I need to make from our first foray into it. I was wrong about a certain thing. Remember my critiques on the Poochie Pups and how bothersome they are to the point where you don't even have to try? I don't think I was wrong about that, but what I was wrong about is the fact that Mellow Mode forces them. On the bottom screen, there's a little leather pants pocket and you can just shove them right in. Never noticed that on the bottom screen ever. You guys taught me about it and it gave me more respect for the mellow mode in the 3DS version. I think turning off them, great option to have. Very happy that they did it. I don't think mellow mode is so terrible anymore in this version. Another difference that I was completely unaware of is spamming the Poochie Pups will give three extra balls of yarn for those situations when you need to spam. That way, uh, six balls of yarn get thrown without needing to cool down. You're not gimped in any sort of way by having them. I'm not sure if I like this change because it's still, it's technically yet another way that it's overpowered, and I thought at least being limited to three eggs at a time was somewhat of a gimp to make up for how good they were, but alas. It is still kind of lazy that they left these blocks in and didn't remove them, though. Save me, minions! Additionally, on the bottom screen, Poochie's hut may be tapped on as an icon and it'll fast travel you there. Though, on the way back, you still have to exit Poochie's hut and select the level that you want all over again, so it's still pretty inconvenient. It's just not quite as bad as I made it sound. I knew about that feature, I just didn't really word it all that well. So, I do appreciate you telling me about that as well. Anyway. Buzzing Poochie, more buzz than his bite. He'll be the star player for Hot-Headed Lava Fields, red hot and ready. I'm not expecting to be able to talk much during these stages, so apologies ahead of time if I'm very, very quiet. Wow, they're just kind of giving this to us now, ain't they? Uh, oh, barely got that. Balloon number one, we're trying to get all the balloons. And oh, uh, okay. Up we go, and then down. Getting the first of the Poochie Pups. Oh, uh, I had to slide under that. Okay, that's kind of bad. Balloon number two. Pop number two. Juggling all these terrible twos. Ooh, nice. Boom, gives you the timing. Excellent, excellent. Ah, oh, I needed a slide to get that one, I'm pretty sure. Poochie's a performing dog. Or bee. I wonder if there's ever been a performance bee in the history of show business. I kind of doubt it, but that's all three of the regular challenges gotten in a single run. And the bonus challenge is to get to the goal within 47 seconds, which I'll hopefully give you a completed run of now while also getting the third pup. Two, one, yep! Fraction of a second left, and that's 47 seconds. Unfortunately, it came at the cost of a puppy's life inside of a volcano. I don't know, I feel pretty good about that. How about you? Z 
say it is. The low path must be taken. And I don't know why I suddenly sound French, but it's kind of in my blood. Half of it at least. Oh. I am so lucky that it is, otherwise people would be very upset with me. There it is! I made sure to keep the cost of one puppy life intact in the actual run, though. For collecting all them poochie pups! I really am just out to offend everyone today. Our reward... ...is Moo Moo Poochie! <laughs> his lips are an udder, it's like the milk gets deposited directly into his mouth! <laughs> That's actually kind of gross, but it's still really cute, so I don't care. There you go, World 2's Poochie Stage. For good measure as a test of skill, Gold Rush version of the stage. My high score is 3,859 beads in one run. The answer to how I'll do is, uh... The answer to how I'll do while talking? Probably not as good. Though Lakitu's predictive bead laying there for how it's going to wave is pretty cool. Something tells me before the stage is over we're having burgers, though. slip-ups, but still a great way to make money. You don't feel excuse me. This cow deserves a happy life. We'll let her rest, and then move on with Yoshi's adventure. Do you think the little sprout on top of his nose orange is visible to him all the time, and it's constantly distracting him from seeing what's directly in front of him, like when you have a big zit on your nose, or do you think he just kind of got used to it because he was born with it? We're trying to solve the mysteries of life for this tangerine Yoshi. Oh, his shell's an orange too. Oh, that's cute. Oh, his cheeks are orange slices. He can't see that very well up close, but playing is him. So many <laughs> crafty little details. Arriving back on the scene, it's Mario! Am I the only one who really likes the way the melee announcer says Mario, how he rolls his R, just like Mario! No one ever says it that way. Spiky Stroll! Make all yarn balls big. Alright, new enemy, Stilt Guys! Attempting to lick their wood does not do any good. Oh. I just realized they have little shoes on the end of their stilts. That's really cute. And they're walking on top of little clothespins. Aww. Well, um, sorry, buddy. I didn't like you enough to spare you. Give me my yarn balls. And I'm willing to bet. Yes, secret. Oh, wow, collateral damage. <laughs> I'm just like, ooh, something shiny. Dead in the background. Don't even notice I'm going. Uh, here we'll bounce off of an enemy to gain some extra height getting into the pipe. And I think you understand. Yeah, wait for the gusties so you don't have to use up an egg. It's okay, though. They just keep on coming back. Whoa! Hey, iron balls are really something else. Um, do I die if I go down here? No. All right. A lot of bonus areas don't outright kill you. It's a holdover from the Mario series, just kind of a general rule. Thought I'd demonstrate that right there because I was pretty sure that it wouldn't kill me. And I was right. It's a kind of a good thing to be right about things not killing you. Yeah. <laughs> I uh, appreciate being right about that. Thankfully, the enemies can't walk and instant kill spikes even though you can't. I should tell you, spikes are instantaneous death. That is another good thing to know when something is- Oh, yes! Poochie, you're joining us on our travels today. You didn't like us leaving you behind on the 3D as to rot and die on last gen hardware. Well, um, do you want to tell him about the Wii U, or should I? Okay, now. He's blissfully unaware and happy. Let him enjoy his Wii U. Uh, Poochie is named after the dog of Takahashi Tezuka, the director of Yoshi's Island and development supervisor on Yoshi's Woolly World. It's actually not the only character in this game that is based on, um, somebody in his life. We'll just say that. We'll have some interesting trivia going forward. Poochie ain't stupid. 
He goes into little crevices that you can't. He'll keep on running without you. He will always chase after Yoshi to the right or the left. If he can't reach you, he will jump up and play fetch. He knows some tricks. Oh, he's trying not to fall off. It's okay, Poochie, it's okay. I'll catch you if you fall. Poochie is completely invincible. He'll just plow right through any enemy. Oh, he delivered uh, the skin of my dead friend. It's okay, Poochie doesn't have to know where it's been. In fact, I bet it tastes meaty to him. I'm sure he liked it. This is mainly here to teach you about it, but uh, come on, Poochie. Poochie, oh. Oh, he doesn't know how to get through these blocks, okay. That's the case, oh, I almost hit my dog over the head with a hammer. Uh, that would probably have not have gone over well had I achieved that, thank you. Give me that heart just in the nick of time. Poochie is invincible. Enemies do not hurt him and neither do spikes. Even instant death hazards don't phase the little guy in the slightest. He's, uh, you know, just a little bit too dumb and a little bit too precious to know that he's even being hurt by anything. So it doesn't phase him. This is sounding more like animal abuse by the second. I need to stop that. Uh, those are donut lifts. Um, the cavities in the middle just kind of have them crumble away as you keep going. Uh, what am I actually trying to say? They're crumbling platforms that cannot be stood on for long. Simple as that. That's kind of cool how there's just like, this is like a desert that has little knitting supplies. Uh, Yoshi. Wow, the irony of this, of Yoshi being dressed like Mario while he leads his noble steed to die in a bottomless pit of instant death is, um, beautiful to say the least. <laughs> I just was about to make the comparison to Mario. Oh, he jumped up after us as we walked off screen. And he's still there. Poochie. I want you to know that. Oh my God. Mario doing this to Yoshi was retribution for Poochie. The entire Yoshi franchise is a prequel to Super Mario Brothers. This is before Mario's even gone on one adventure. Little did we know, Yoshi did this to his own animal friend years prior, and it was just passed down to the next generation. And Mario was just getting back at him. Mario was no sociopath. Mario was just making things right. Oh gosh, okay, I'll stop with the, I'll stop with the theorizing business and let's just keep going. Uh, up top, got another flower, that's four out of five. And looks like I'm um, three out of four on the beads. There you go. And I am willing to bet, no. Um, right, these platforms go down a little bit before they go away, and there it is. Thank you, Shy Guy, for not cheaply hurting me. I could definitely go for going a stage without that. Kapow, 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 kapow. Forgot one kapow in there. I just had to make things correct. Uh, hitting them with an egg will stun them, and I guess, is it, how many hits was that? Um, well, I guess now we'll never know. <laughs> it looked like it hit him a bunch of times before it was able to get through his, um, I almost called it armor. Pretty sure I don't need to kill you guys, but I want to do it anyway. Nothing as I thought. Eat my dust. And that spawns us right back outside. Oh, oh come on! Right after I say that I could go one stage without cheap enemy placement, that happens. Lakitus, they work as one would expect. They throw spinies at you, which are more or less indestructible enemies. If you jump on them, you can take their cloud and fly all around all you want. However, as soon as a Lakitu falls, in their dying breath, they call for help. I said in their dying breath, they call for help. There it is, okay. As one would expect, there are collectibles hidden up normally out of reach, rewarding you for flying around on their cloud. Definitely gonna have to go back because I didn't have an egg. Here we go. Confetti falling from the sky while I am in it. All right. Uh, you guys, I am in need of more offspring. I've had some people telling me that they're not eggs, they're officially yarn balls, but come on, I'm made out of yarn. Balls of yarn are technically my offspring too. It's the same basic idea. Even beyond the fact that it's just a surrogate for what's normally eggs. There's Lakitu's targeting reticle. He's at least nice enough to telegraph where he's gonna hit and oh Poochie, you survived! I bet it was a very interesting story that we will never get to know because you can't talk, you're a dog. 
Uh, wait, hang on. I, I kind of want to make sure I'm not missing anything in these pits. It's okay. We won't get... What? For someone who needs to learn to keep their mouth shut, I picked a very unfortunate profession. Here's why you can't use your tongue to get on a Lakitu cloud. I'm kind of glad that they gave it an actual story explanation instead of the cloud just puffing out of existence for no reason like in a lot of other stuff. Lickin' a Lakitu does that. What about... Wow, that looked... Uh... Kinky? That was oddly detailed for how it usually is when enemies get tangled up in yarn. Did I seriously say, I hope I'm not missing anything by going back with Poochie when I had five flowers, five Wonderwolves, and 20 Meaver stamp patches? Because I think I did. Onward, mush! Poochie, come back. Come here. Good doggy. I let you lick my nose. It's like honking it, but wetter. C come back. Come on. I want to jump off of you at just the right time so I can get the hoop. So I want you to finish the stage with- Aww, oh, almost had the flower even when it wasn't under my control. And he comes with us to the results, because he helped. What a good boy. Aw. <laughs> He's dancing around all happy when it showed the Wonder Wool that he collected. He's just like, yeah, yeah, I know. I helped on the I helped with that part. If only Poochie could come with a little longer. Oh wait, he can! A new power badge, and it's Poochie! I'm aware that we're a little bit behind. Our dog can come with us for free? Oh. I'm aware that we're a little bit behind on showing a power badge and there's good reason for that because it wasn't that helpful on that stage. Knitted Poochie Yoshi back together, ooh. You still need your time to shine, don't ya? But I'm sorry, I love Poochie a little bit too much. We'll save you for another day. That's it for now, though. We went on multiple adventures with our dog and just overall had a really fun time because of it. Next time on Poochie Yoshi's Woolly World, we're going to be going into the very next stage, and something tells me a power badge or two would be helpful for it. See you guys then. Yahoo! <laughs>